Yo guys, what's going on? Ace is here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a factory guide for PvE mode here in Escape from Tarkov. It is a very different map and there's a couple things you need to know when playing on PvE versus how we all used to play on PvP. Do me a favor, make sure you're dropping a like and of course make sure you're subscribing to the channel. Let's hop right into this one. So we are going to hop in an offline raid on factory here in the PvE mode so I can kind of explain some stuff for you. And um, then I'm going to do a guide for the scav as well. So first we are going to hop in and I'm going to do my best to kind of explain a few things you need to know when playing on your PMC first. So let's go ahead and hop in now. So some of the stuff we're going to be talking about is the PMCs on the map and then how Tagila and the PMCs are related. I have played a decent amount of factory and it took me a little bit to try and figure out why I would find Tagila sometimes and not find PMCs or there'd be PMCs at a certain point or a certain, you know, point in the raid, but they weren't there earlier. It was all very confusing. And after playing for a bunch, I eventually figured it out. So we spawn at gate three. In this instance, if there are going to be PMCs in your raid, they probably are going to spawn over by the med tents or by gate one. They're going to probably be just somewhere on the other side of the map. Now, if you spawn in the death corner, then they might spawn probably a little closer to the forklift over near the middle right here. Um, or they could spawn in the hallway of the bottom office. They might even be out here. They could be out by gate three. But if you can't find any PMCs on the map, if you don't hear any shooting, the PMC shooting at other scavs, that means one thing. That means Tagila is on the map. Tagila and PMCs will not spawn together. If Tagila is on the map, there will be no PMCs until Tagila is killed. Once you kill Tagila, PMCs will spawn immediately. Right after you kill Tagila, they will spawn somewhere on the map. So if you hear no PMCs, look around, find Tagila. That means he's in your raid. And this will also apply if you're on your scav runs. If you scav into a factory, which we're going to do here in a second, if Tagila is just sitting in a corner doing absolutely nothing, there will not be a single PMC on the map. You avoid Tagila, you can loot the entire factory for free. Like I said, if Tagila dies, then you have a chance to spawn one to four PMCs. I have only seen a max of three PMCs so far spawning in, and they will be grouped together. Uh, sometimes it's just a solo, and then I haven't really seen a duo. Typically, I've seen a solo or a three stack, and honestly, killing the three stack really isn't that hard. So let's head into our scav, and then if the scav doesn't go too well, we can go on our PMC. I really don't mind, uh, but... I want to show you how to kind of scav on factory because I do have a video here on the channel showing you how to scav on factory in the PvP side of the game and you make a ton of money doing it. But the factory scavs here on PvE, they're very different because the raid timer starts at 20 minutes. You don't spawn in at 10 minutes left. So you have to get enough XP to get a survive status. You can do that through looting. That takes a little bit or you can wait seven or eight minutes. I think it's seven minutes to get to the 13 minute mark. Or you can go kill some PMCs and potentially get some good loot. So we have a pretty shitty AK. It looks like a 10 round mech. Actually, that might be a 20. Uh, we got class 3 or 4 armor. Looks like a takedown bag. So we are going to head in. And, um, you know, if we have even a decent enough round, like PS, something like that, uh, that will be enough to take down the PMCs. If this is a 20 rounder, I think we'll be okay. But if there's no shooting, no PMCs, that means Tagil is somewhere on the map and we can loot the entire map for free. So hopefully all that makes sense. And of course, if you have any questions, just drop them down in the comments. Uh, Factory, I've seen a few complaints already in my comments just talking about how Tagil is always on the map and there's no PMCs. That's what this video is for, to explain how Factory is different from how it is in PvP. Because it's certainly different. There are definitely uh, spawn mechanics and stuff at play. Alright, let's see if we hear any shooting. And, of course, you can also listen for, like, a comm from a PMC. And another thing I like to do on my scav. That might be a PMC. Uh, 
See how this guy didn't come? Is that, is that a two stack? Yeah, these are PMCs. Let that guy be. One dead. Call for help again. I don't think anybody's going to come, though. Nade? Maybe not. He might be dead. He might not be. Was that just a duo? Or am I missing one? That's a scab. Hey guys, how we doing? Uh oh, that's not good. Yeah. Okay, so it's a squad of four. So that happened, but that kind of gives you an idea. So if Tegilla was on the map, none of those guys would have been there. But we got three. That's going to be some decent scav rep. At least I think it is. Uh, but, you know, assuming you take down your PMCs, you're going to come out of that raid immediately. You're going to be heading right to the extract. In that case, either office, camera bunker, three, three USEC dead. That would have been plenty of loot. Probably one of them would have had a better backpack than the takedown. But, you know, we would have just literally left that raid right away. I'm pretty satisfied with that. I mean, I gotta be completely honest, that was that was fine by me, really. But, just for the sake of the video, I'll head in on our PMC. Uh, hopefully, we can get Tagilla to spawn. I don't. I have Tracer on, I've been sniping on Lighthouse with Tracer. Uh, you heard that correctly. But, um, you know, hopefully Tagilla can spawn, and that way you can see that there's no shooting that happens, there's no PMCs, and, um... You know, getting to Gila to spawn is a, a, a pretty low chance, but we'll see if we can uh, make it happen here. So like I said, shooting right away, good sign for PMCs. No shooting, to Gila on the map. Still a good sign for you. As long as you're prepared. Alright, so I just listen. I just stand here and fucking listen. Still no shooting. Still nothing, so I'm under the assumption to Gila's here. So far. So I still haven't heard a voice come... Haven't heard shooting, not even a suppressor. So I still think Tegilla is here. I'll find him, it's just when. I I can't locate him yet. I haven't checked everywhere, but... There he is. Yeah, everybody come down the hallway. Now the PMC should spawn. I don't know if you can hear that. I know the audio is a little lower on the... Uh... On these recordings, but that's the PMCs fighting right now. Alright, so we are extracting. I pulled out literally as much as I could. Almost 70. And I will show you all what we got here in just a moment. Alright, let's see what we got. I didn't even really, like, fully look. So, I'm assuming in here we're going to have all BT. Yes, that's nice. Then, obviously, we have the armor. The mask and i pulled out a couple scab backpacks and filled up some rigs with just a bunch of shit to be honest with you a few keys came out of that raid pack of sigs then obviously we got the zenith and we got a little uh little mini pistol mask knife you guys know the vibes man uh 70 kgs out of that one but it's literally that simple uh pmc raids on factory I mean, honestly, you could load in. If you don't hear shooting, kill Tagilla, leave. If you do hear shooting, you could just leave. If you don't want to deal with the PMCs, if you just want to farm Tagilla for the XP or for the items, the BT, whatever you want to farm, um, Factory right now is actually extremely, extremely broken for the PvE mode. And the longer it stays like this, uh, just the more broken and 
good your PMC will become because you can pretty much have an infinite supply of BT and, you know, decent durability on the AK. It's not like a PMC weapon that's going to be 40 out of 80 or something. Like, you know, uh, Tagila's weapons, they're typically decent. Also, he has the, uh, the one shotgun. I think he also has one other thing. Um, and then, you know, of course, you got the face mask, which is going to be class 5, and the AVS, which is class 6. So, that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed the factory guide, do me a favor, leave a like. And, of course, make sure you're subscribing to the channel for more PvE content. Appreciate you. Talk to you very soon. See you in the next video. I'm out.